Hey everyone, imagine have a page. On the left, you see a top level menu. You can pick an item, let's say A shows sub menu on the second page. We can pick another item and we get to end. And so each top level menu has a couple of items at least, so two levels. So how do we test this? Well, at first, I would concentrate on writing a deterministic test that visits the same top level menu and checks it out. So what I would do here is to first confirm that I'm on the main and it shows index page. Let's move this to the side. Okay, so we are on the main page. Now all these navigation links are anchor links. So let's see this, all right? So it's navigation element and anchor links. So let's get the navigation anchor link with text A and click on it. And so we're going to the page A, which we can confirm by inspecting the main contents. So we can say the main should show A. Now we can go maybe to the very first link again. So A1 and it should show, I believe, slash A slash A1. Okay. And once we know that we're on this page, menu A, A1, index HTML, we can say, okay, you can go back. And let's say in this case, we can check the path name and confirm we are, let's say, include menu A, index HTML. Okay. And if we go once more, then it should be just menu index HTML. Perfect. So this is deterministic test. It goes to the same top level A uh, page and then A1. So it picks the first item in both menus and then it goes back. But many people ask, can we pick a random menu and verify that we get to the second page? So how do you pick a top level random link? Okay, so here's what you do. We will get all navigation anchor links. So this will give us a couple of links right here, four in this case. And now from this list, we need to take one element so we can pass this jQuery object of all links and use Cypress low dash sample method. And it needs an array. So we'll convert the jQuery object to array because it has a method array and we'll click on it. Oh, I forgot to call this as a method. Okay, so we have four links and then we picked the third one. And if we run it again, then we clicked on the fourth one, first one. So every time we sample that array of elements, we get a new uh, top level menu. Now we no longer know how to check it though, right? We cannot just say it should be A. It should be one of the letters from A to D. So here we can use match assertion and pass a regular expression where we can say, well, we don't know exactly what the letter is, but it should be one of from A to D and then index HTML. Okay, one second, one more escape card. Okay, so for elements, use a sample method to pick an element, return it, so it automatically wraps it and clicks on it. And then we verify that we're going to a page menu a b c or d slash index html now if you use my cypress map plugin it includes a query method sample which just wraps this particular logic so you can say sample one out of all elements in the current subject and it will give you a random element which one would I prefer out of this test? I would prefer the first one because it's deterministic. It checks a lot more things. But if you want to exercise a random item on your page, like uh, one of those top level links, then you can certainly pick a sample element. If you are studying my Cypress plugins, like Cypress Recur, Cypress Map, I will add a lesson to this course that will pick a random item and then keep navigating until it reaches the final page and then it will go back 
until it reaches the index page. And this way we're not going to be limited just to two levels, right? So we'll use Cypress Recurse plugin to iterate all the way to the leaf node and then back to the root node. 